as you start to get more and more comfortable with Tinkercad, I know the question always comes up, where are these keyboard shortcuts? I know you're not asking those questions, but that's what this video is all about. For me, it has been a big help because it has allowed me to move faster in Tinkercad. Because as you start to use these tools, you start to use them more and more and more. And keyboard shortcuts prevent me from having to move my mouse away from the work plane to get to these tools at the top of the screen. Instead, I can just use the keyboard shortcuts and keep myself focused on the work plane. So here are my favorite keyboard shortcuts. Let's go. All right, we're gonna create a water wheel. This is for a school project that I'll show you hopefully later. And uh, we're gonna start by using these two pieces here that I've created in Sketch. It's my blade that will catch the water. What I wanna do is I want to group these because I'm gonna make a whole bunch of these. And I'm going to select those pieces and I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut of Control G. Or if you're using a Mac, Command G. So there it is group control G or command G. Now, if I want to ungroup this, it's just shift control G or shift command G to undo the grouping or ungroup. Next, we're going to duplicate this blade that I have here or copy and paste it. So again, we're going to use the keyboard shortcuts. I'm going to select this object here and to duplicate it, it is control D or command D. And you can see here, I have duplicated that if I take this and I move it. Another way you can do this is to do the classic copy and paste. Now, in order to copy an object, I'm going to select it and I'm going to press Control C or on a Mac, Command C. And to paste it, I am going to press Control V or Command V. All right, next what I want to do is I want to take this duplicate of this blade on my water wheel and I would like to flip it because it's going to be on the opposite side of this wheel. So in order to do that, I'm going to use mirror. Now to trigger this, you're going to press M on your keyboard. That's it, M. And then you're going to see these options show up here where you can then click and select how you would like to flip it along which axis you're going to flip your object. So I'm going to actually flip this in this direction and in this direction. All right, I'm gonna move this second blade to the other side, because again, it's going to be the opposite side of the wheel. And I'm also going to add in the hub here. So I'm just gonna add in this cylinder. Now what I would like to do is just make sure that these are all aligned together. So I'm going to select all of these objects. Now, rather than doing this, I'm going to select all of these objects by pressing Control A. Control A or Command A allows you to select all of the objects on your work plane. Now, if I want to unselect objects, I can just press Shift and select the objects that I'd like to remove from that selected group. Now, I want to make sure they're all selected because I want to line them all up. Now, to align this, I'm going to press L. L on the keyboard calls up the options there to align your selected objects along the different axes. And again, you can have them centered to each other along an axis or along one of the edges of those objects. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I just wanna make sure that they're all centered to each other, like so. And that is it right there. All right, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use those same tools again just to help complete my water wheel here. So I'm just going to select, press Shift, and select just those two blades opposite to each other and I'm going to use Control G or Command G to group them. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this. So I'm going to do Control D to duplicate that. And then after that I'm just going to grab one of those and select it and then just move them so that it is 45 degrees like this. And then I'm going to duplicate it again. And again, Control D, Control D or Command D, Command D. Now, just to make sure that they're all aligned properly, I'm going to press Command A or Control A and then press L and ensure that they're all lined up and centered to each other. I think that's it. I'm happy with that. And I'm going to press Control A again or Command A and then press Control G to group them all. There you go. That is my water wheel. All right, the other thing I want to show you here is the ability to use the work plane tool and the drop option as well. So I'm going to select this 
and I'm going to sort of put it up on its end so you can kind of see what this is supposed to look like, like that. Now you're gonna notice that this is sort of buried into the work plane there. Now I can quickly, by selecting the object and pressing D, have it so that this object is now resting directly onto the work plane. This would also work if I had the object suspended above it as well. So if I moved it and had it up here like this, I would just press D to drop it. And it drops it right onto that work plane. Now there are keyboard shortcuts for the work plane tool. By pressing W, I will call up the work plane tool. You can see there, there it is. And I'm going to place my work plane on that hub there. I would like to put this cube onto that hub. So I want to sink it in there. That's the way I'm going to attach it to the motor. Uh, and I'm going to adjust the dimensions of this. What I want to do is I want to drop this onto this plane that I've established there. So just by pressing D, you can see it just goes there. So again, the drop command or the drop keyboard shortcut works with the work plane tool as well. It's fantastic. All right, next I'm going to press Command A or Control A to select all those objects. And then the L key to call up the alignment tool. And I'm going to make sure that both those objects are aligned centered with each other. Oops, do that again. L and I would like to have it by selecting my water wheel on the surface of that water wheel, just like that. Control A or Command A and then Control G to group them all together. That's it. That's my completed water wheel. This is the beautiful thing about those keyboard shortcuts. It allows you to move so much faster because again, your mouse does not have to leave the work plane in order to get to these icons and tools here along the top. You can just stay in your work plane and just use your keyboard to call up the different tools. I find it a lot easier to work. If you start to use this, you're probably gonna have your own favorite keyboard shortcuts. And uh, I hope this helps make it faster for you as you start to really move in Tinkercad. All right, so I'm gonna print this up. Let's see what we get and let's put it to the test. So basically this water wheel is gonna be used with a small motor and we're going to run some water and get this water wheel to start turning and in doing so turning the motor, basically turning it into a generator. Students are going to measure the voltage and current produced by this generator and start doing some calculations like power, resistance. I can create as many copies of this water wheel as I need to. The possibilities are endless. At some point, I would love to actually have the students design their water wheels themselves and we would 3D print them and try to measure which ones were the best designed water wheels. Again, 3D printing, awesome. I hope you enjoyed the video. We'll see you next time.